What's happening guys? Well today, Miss Stacy and I are out on the, what's the name of this scenic byway? It's the Ponderosa Pines Scenic Byway. Hey. Yeah, so we are off of the Sawtooth Scenic Byway now and onto another one. And we actually just went out of the Sawtooth National Forest and into the Boise National Forest. Now the cool thing about this area up here is that it's like, what, four or five different national forests that all butt up against each other. And as you'll see in some of the B-roll that I'll be putting up, the diversity is just like insane. We've gone through like flooded prairie uh, with beautiful mountains behind to uh, snow fields to just huge snow covered mountains and then down into like these huge pines as we're coming down here. And uh, it's just been kind of like mind blowing. We've just been cruising along and it's just been a really enjoyable ride. Miss Stacy, yeah. what's that blue thing? The blue thing that you got hanging out the back of your helmet. So it just okay. keeps. Yeah, yesterday my hair was like. Ah, I gotcha. So it's just to keep the flyaways under control. Yep. 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 Oh man, look at this. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Um, so we were thinking like possible avalanche back there. Uh, because there was a gate. It might have been where it was closed, but we're not sure. Uh, if we come across something obvious, we'll let you know. But the weird thing is, is during all of that snow on both sides of the road that was still like three feet deep, it was 77 degrees the whole time riding through there. Except for one really cold blast where we went through a little valley. Yeah, it went from like, yeah, from like 77 degrees to 50 degrees, back to 77 degrees. And now it's actually 80. So we can, uh, we can understand why there is so much flooding going on up here. Uh, because it's so warm that everything's melting so fast. And, you know, water doesn't have enough time to get where it needs to go. So everything's flooded. Oh, yeah, man. Wow. Uh, yeah. It is says 80, but I think it's getting hotter than that. That snow's not even snow anymore. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if any of our subscribers know, like, is there a name for what that turns into? Well, it's like a, I mean, that's technically what it is. It's, it's like permafrost, but not really. Yeah, but kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. It's like glacier coming down the mountain. Whoa, dude, look up! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This is freaking amazing. I always thought that Utah is entirely underrated. Yeah. Idaho is as well. Yeah. Like, we're doing 15 miles an hour below the speed limit, and I don't even care because I can look around and it's just gorgeous. Right decision, are you? Look at this, look at this snow <laughs> with like tree trimmings all through it. Like this is just, oh, that's good. That sounds like cool. yeah, man, wow. So, um, Miss Stacy, did you look at where we're staying tonight? Is it in Boise or no, it's like Garden, Valley. Garden Valley? Is that another one of the ones that butt up? Against each other? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I think it's Right. Oh, look at this waterfall, dude. Right there. That is dope. Whoa. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get dead. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Don't say that. <laughs> Shush. Go to Colorado. It's awesome. We'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> the Colorado is awesome. Oh, my, my Colorado is awesome. Your world of soccer moms sucks. Yeah, well, it's not where I want to spend my time. Oh, but look at this. It's just like amazing. It's like down here, it's like summer's in full bloom. And then like right around the corner, there's gonna be a huge glacier of snow. Yeah, yeah. Just from looking at this and then looking at all the rubble on the side of the road, like no doubt there could have been a serious avalanche. I just haven't seen anything yet where like half of one of the sides of the hills is missing or something. So, yeah. We do got a guy behind us, so if we want to let him pass, I guess we can. Yeah, I'm just kind of, my head's on a swivel. <laughs> Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, there was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a bit of a hill, just gone. This is crazy. Right. Yeah. Don't have head-on collision, please. Thank you. <laughs> I was saying to him, please don't have a head-on collision. Yeah. Yeah, it might have been. But then again, the road... Right, but the road was there. You know? There's just, like, all these killer little valleys that I... I want to go like walk up into it and be like, this is all awesome. Oh. All right, so something that's not just me drooling at the scenery, I wanted to talk a little bit about the tank bags that Miss Stacy and I got. So here's some randomness for you. Uh, she ended up picking up the Wolfman Enduro tank bag, and I picked up the Wolfman uh, Explorer Light. And let me tell you, I thought that this Wolfman Explorer Light was going to be way too big. But apparently, as soon as you get a tank bag, you realize that everything that you need access to should be in the tank bag. So everything, like, I mean, drinks are in here. All of my IT gear is in here so I can just pull this off and take it wherever I need to go to charge stuff or whatever when we get off the bikes. My tablet the first aid kit, the spot, my knife, the uh, portable speaker that we're using at camp. Just like this thing has everything in it that uh, we need when we stop. And I could use more space. But with it fully expanded, it's it's perfect size. You know, I, I, can't, I could have gotten the Explorer, which is like ridiculously huge, but I was worried that it was gonna start interfering with the bars. Uh, you know, turning and such. But now that I've, I've sat with it for a couple of days and it's all mounted upright and everything, it's perfect. What do you, what do you think about yours, Miss Stacy? What do you think about the Enduro? Yeah, yeah.
I'm gonna pull up and look at yours and you can look at mine. Whoops. I always pull up too, I always pull up too fast. Just slow down. Do you get a good look at mine? All right, pull up a little bit, I'll get a good look at yours. Yeah, hers doesn't expand. Mine does expand. But they mount pretty much the same way. Um, but yeah, incredibly, incredibly useful little piece of kit. And kind of something that I always wanted to investigate with Xena, um, which might spare me having to carry the huge tail bag uh, when we go on rougher rides. Because, uh, you know, the rougher rides put a lot of stress on, on that rack holding the, the big wolf tail on the back. Uh, so being able to mount something to the tank would be awesome because, you know, there's no worry about stressing any any of the components there. They, yeah, it does. <sighs> so, uh, the problem that I have with Xena is that she has the IMS blingy blingy cap that has the little uh, wiener that sticks up out of the middle of the fuel cap. <laughs> How do you guys get around that uh, with mounting a tank bag like the Enduro? Uh, maybe maybe you could just mount it like down further. Uh, I'll have to... Yeah, but if I could put a bottle of water in the first aid kit in it, done. Yeah, done. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah, in this I have every single sticker Miss Stacy has bought from every place that we've been. An Idaho map, a sawtooth trail map, um, first aid kit, speaker, uh, extra set of gloves, my 18,000 ma battery charger which is actually being charged off of the bike right now um, what else what else is in there Did I say portable speaker already my knife my balaclava the spot uh, I know there's something else in there that I'm forgetting but but it's just like incredible that all that stuff that I might need at a moment's notice is right here you know even if we were to pull up and there was like a, you know God forbid a cyclist down bleeding you know, if I if, if I decided that I wanted to help him, if he was riding a mountain bike, <laughs> then uh, oh, right here, boo! Did I just call, I just called you boo. <laughs> I've <laughs> I've never ever I have I've never ever called you boo before. It just came out, but that looked like fresh broken rock there. That could have been it. So yeah, uh, Wolfman tank bags, definitely uh, quality stuff. Oh, you could get the Explorer light on that easy. Yeah. Right, maybe more comfortable, maybe more comfortable for you would be the Blackhawk, which is like in between. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy that off you for Xena. And then you can use the proceeds to buy the Blackhawk. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I'm I'm going to be buying it at secondhand prices, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you've used it now for what? Six days? <laughs> yeah, it's been hail damage. Hail tank bag sale. Wow, water is moving down here. What a cool ride, Miss Stacy. You nailed this one. So what our, our plan has been kind of just, uh, since we diverted from the Yellowstone thing, we've been like, let's just plan like maybe two days in advance. That way we can take a real close look at the map and see what's like actually doable for us. Uh, in our, we've been doing about 200, 250 miles a day. Um, you know, it's kind of a, just a lazy pace, but, right, yeah, like, what, what do we see on the map that looks cool, and then we'll go see that, and we have also talked to people and been like, hey, 
what areas are super cool that we need to go check out and when you get that stuff from a local or from you know friends or whatever they, they'll never do you wrong so even if you're anti-social like hermit every once in a while it's good to say hi to the locals and ask them if there's anything super cool around to check out because that's how we find most of the awesome stuff that we find but we'll walk into the gas station and be like hey what's around here <laughs> you know